That's crazy. Herpins just came on up. What's up? What's going on, guys? I'm like, okay. I'm not going to make this. I'm going to face out, Thank her. That's how you have to do it. This is Southbound Truck Driver. We're sitting at the Loves. So we're sitting at Loves. Um, 277. Ah, 277. Come on, baby. Let's do it. 277. Let's see where we're at. Trucker's Path. All right, guys. So everybody go to Trucker's Path. Go plus, plus, plus. Plus, plus, plus. One thing I don't understand about Trucker's Path, when you press the little circle with the dot lines on it, and it's supposed to tell you exactly where you're at. No, I don't want fuel. It doesn't work. 227. We're at 227. This is on uh, McCalla, Alabama, on Highway 216. The thing I love about this place is at night they will let trucks park just about anywhere they can fit so now i'm fixing to show y'all see where that white truck's parked in the background they line up there see that gray truck on the side down there sorry guys it just quit on me um they line up down there they line up just about anywhere you can think of this daggum camera. I don't know if they're having problems with it. Like, I I erased the um, SD card, and it still says that I don't have much memory. I went in. See, GoPros. Even though you erase it on the GoPro, it'll still hold all your video files. And another file in the background which I think is very irresponsible so you still have all the movies you don't know about it but they're still in the background somewhere in a folder you go in the folder what I do is I take my SD card I reformat it and when I put it back in the camera it says I don't have the space like I'm looking at it now and it says I got four hours Oh, I formatted my SD card. I don't understand it. Um, anyway, guys, I got this load of steel eye beams. I got to deliver it tomorrow. I've been sick all weekend. I've been sick all week last week with a cold. Um, so I, it has been rough on me. Very rough. I'm fixing to go take a shower. I'm position number one. Fix go take a shower, then I come back. I'm gonna eat my subway sandwich and I'm gonna go back to sleep. <sighs> Today I've been spent all day greasing locks, uh, cleaning out my tool bag, checking my fluids on my truck, measuring my tire trap depth, uh, cleaning air vents or air filters, it, cabin air filters. Um, just doing all that stuff. The air, either one nostril I can smell out of. The air smell quality, it smells great. That's what you got to do, man. You got to keep your truck going. Because I'm telling you what, if you don't take care of this truck, it's not going to take care of you. And this truck pays all my bills. And... I want to buy this truck, man. I want to go to IC, independent contract. I want to go to IC, but they're telling me that right now isn't a good time because of the way the loads are. Um, we're going to find out more about the probation thing. You know, I got a lawyer. Uh, we filed a motion. And once the motion goes through, and if I get off of probation, I'm going to apply to go to the win unit, I think. I'm, I'm debating on it, trying to try to get out there. I don't even know if I can. But I want to do whatever it takes to buy a truck. I want to buy a truck. My credit's at 772. Checked it this morning. Hold on, let's see where credit's at. Credit, credit, credit. 772. Let me see if there's any information on here that you don't need to see. 
Uh, no. So that's my credit. 772. I'm telling y'all guys, y'all think I'm playing about being successful. I'm not. Um, but yeah, we're fixing to go get a shower. very tired I took some NyQuil last night and this morning I'm just trying to get rid of it I'm trying to get rid of the NyQuil I don't have much left I think there's about two more little things so I'm gonna go eat come back take the NyQuil and go back to sleep uh, because I got a little day quill left but I'm using saving my day quill for the daytime tomorrow while I gotta work I know I haven't been posting much, but I've been sick. I've been not feeling like doing nothing. Like the first day I came out here, I was so sick. I had to stop four times. I had to actually stop four times and take a nap. And try to take medicine and lay down. Four times. Um... I think I actually drove 590 miles that day. It was bad. Um, that's crazy. I stopped four times and actually drove 590 miles that day. Just dedicated to it. That's how you got to be, man. You got to be dedicated to this job. I love this job. I love this job more than anything in the world. Not more than anything. I love my wife, my family. But I love this job, man, more than any other job I've ever had. It means a lot to me to have this job. I love working for Jordan. And I'm not just saying that because I work here. I'm going to tell you what. You could work for John's Chinese Restaurant. Okay? And it could be a great job. As long as John was a good man and treated you right, it'd be a great job. A good job... Is not the name of the company, is not what the company has, but it is how you are treated at the company. I want y'all, a lot of y'all employers who are watching this to think about that. You know, a lot of us CDL drivers, you know, they go from job to job to job because they're looking, because a lot of guys are looking for that, that good company. And I was talking to a guy earlier, and you know, it, it ain't it ain't the new truck you get. It ain't the new equipment. If you got new equipment, and new truck, and all that new fancy technology and stuff, but the people treat you like crap, nobody wants to be there around that. Nobody wants to deal with that. You know, and that's one thing that people don't understand <clears throat> yeah you can give me a brand new truck you can give me a brand new trailer you can give me all kind of new gps's and 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 do this and do that but if you treat me bad as a driver i'm not staying and if you don't pay me who wants to stay and go in debt to say oh i work for uh Swift, or I work for one of these mega carriers, but we're in debt and we're not, and we're going into debt because my wife's having to use credit cards to buy groceries and pay bills. What sense does that make? Now, yes, I got debt, <clears throat> but my payments aren't like thousands of dollars a month my payments are probably maybe 600 a month on my debt and it's getting paid off it's not just interest it's getting paid off 600 a month a month power bill is like 400 that's a thousand you got insurance phone stuff like that okay so my bills are like 2100 dollars a month 2500 dollars a month If I can't stay out all month, 
go home for like two or three days a month stay out all month have a cdl that i paid five or six thousand dollars for which i didn't but some people do okay and i drive a semi truck and i can't afford my bills that are twenty five hundred dollars a month but i got a great job a nice truck and a nice trailer and all that something's wrong that lets me know where the money's going to in the company it ain't coming to the drivers it's going to that new truck you driving. It's going to that new trailer you pulling. You know, sometimes y'all y'all drivers out there, y'all gotta think about, you know, what comes first. Does your job come first or does your family come first? And I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, and not really understand. But your family's got to come first. So, you know, if you gotta jump from job to job, if you're working hard and driving every day, ten hours. And you can't support your family because you're not getting no miles. It's time to go. It's time to go. But here at Jordan Carriers, it ain't like that. I love it here. I love my job. I really do. I love my job. I like being here. Um, I do not feel good. I can barely get these words out. Oh... My head feels like I've got a big hand on it and I'm just squeezing it. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I just wanted to make a little video. Um, thank y'all for all the support. I'll try to make another video on, on securement and stuff like that with chains. Uh, securement with straps. Because um, I got a little tricks and stuff that I do. You know, Today I mostly spent time checking my fluids. Checking... I did I did a a full thorough uh pre-trip. I did a full thorough pre-trip. Check the brakes, the, the tread on the or the depth on the brakes. And I checked everything underneath the hood. You know, I did a full depth, you know. So on the weekends if y'all get a little time off you know do things like that take the time to walk outside look underneath the truck look underneath the trailer clean some lights you know tail lights and stuff clean your markers uh, just do stuff to make your trip from point A to point B a little bit more easier on you as a driver all right, love y'all guys. I'm gonna lay down. I got. I'm on position number one, waiting on the shower. So I'm fixing to have to walk out of here. Um, I'm trying to clear out this SD card again, but who knows how that'll work. But I love y'all. Y'all have a good day. God bless and stay southbound. All right, guys. I had to record one little final portion for this video for y'all because. Y'all are my everything. So this is what it looks like where I'm at. This is kind of the logist of everything. I mean, I like it here. Whose truck is that? You might know that guy. Tell me he's doing a good job. There's a Western driver right here next to me. What does he got? Drive in? Oh Lord, we well, better watch out. No, I'm just playing. Drive in, Western drive in drivers are dedicated. And you're like, I'm more dedicated than they are. Do you go through what Western drivers go through? No. All the dogging out they get, all the talking crazy too they receive, yeah, they're dedicated. Um, Sunday afternoon, I try to take a nap. My wife's going to sleep. Might as well try to fall asleep myself, I guess. At least get some good sleep. I can wake up early. Um, same old, same old. Oh, he just cut his lights on. Where's he going? Is he leaving? Where are you going, bud? Are you leaving? Oh, yeah? Do you mind if I ride? Then back to Nashville with you? 
can you give me a ride? Yeah, I gotta pick my truck up. Nah, but it gets boring, man. I got, it, you know, I know I ain't been doing this long, but as long as I've been doing it, it gets, it, I like the excitement, the fast pace of it, you know. I like something always going. That's why I like training. I did like training. When I was with Western, I loved it. You know, when the people had a little respect for me, you know what I mean? I loved it. Because we was always doing something. We was picking up a load every day. Not every day, but we was either picking up a load or we was driving. That truck was constantly moving. The solo stuff, man. You by yourself all the time. You know, I like training. I really did. And y'all know that. Y'all know I got into training because... I mean, for one thing, the, the most important thing is for the money. And if you got a person who tells me Oh, I don't train for the money. If you don't come to work, leave your family behind for weeks at a time, and you don't do it for the money, something's wrong. I mean, unless you're trying to hook up with a trainee, I don't know. I don't know. But that's why we're all here right we're all at work to make money I may be wrong some of us not, may not be here to make money I mean I had a guy tell me that one time I said uh I said yeah I started training because it, it pays good money you know what he told me he said I don't do it for the money. <sighs> when he told me he didn't do it for the money, I knew that any conversation or any amount of words that were going to be spoken from him after that comment, the comments that I made couldn't stand up to it he was he was so far out left field that he he was in outer space <laughs> nothing I said nothing I could nothing I could say would amount to what he said it just it would have no meaning compared to what he'd said or what he could say after that. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it from there. It, um... The main reason why I leave my family, the main reason why I come out here on this road, is not to get away from my wife. It's not to get away from my kids. I mean, yeah... It's kind of nice. I'm sorry, baby. It's kind of nice. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's kind of peaceful out here. Oh. But. It's to make money for my family. And y'all know that. I mean, that's why we do it. That's why we're truck drivers to pay bills. To pay bills. Yeah, some of us got good hearts and want to help people. Don't get me wrong. I'm one of them. I like training. I like helping people. I like seeing them succeed. But I'm not going to come out here and do it for free. No. You better write me a check. I want to drive a new car. I want to live in a nice house. I'm not going to uh, uh, go park this truck at the end of the month and go climb into a cardboard box and say, well, so-and-so is going to be okay. I trained them. 
he'll probably make a good good amount of money now get him a nice house but you know I don't need none of that money I'm good this little box I live in and this and me taking the bus to work and taking the bus to here that's fine enough with me I don't need no money come on man come on man but yeah this man it, it I don't know that was the only reason why I left people was disrespectful and I got tired of it and I was the easiest guy to get along with you know I was easy to get along with I'd tell them hey look Oh, you got it. Look, if you're going to drive 10 hours a night, I said, because we would usually drop a load in the morning and pick one up in the afternoon. Not every day. Not every day. But when we did, that's how it went. So, usually in the afternoon when we was picking up, that would be about time for them to get up and start getting ready to drive. Well, they would get up, get up, and help me secure and they would learn that's what I told them I said look when I go drop this off you ain't got to help me put the tarps up or nothing I said uh you just stay asleep that way you can wake up tonight get your hours and you know after we secured I told them look the way you're gonna unsecure it is just do what you did backwards take the stuff back off you seen how we put it on I mean, my God, what is rocket science? So, but it worked out good for some of them. Some of them, I mean, respected it. You know, they drove 10 hours at night. They, uh, they did what they needed to do. And our goal was 650 miles a day. That was our goal. 650 miles a shift. I wouldn't necessarily get necessarily get necessarily get that because I was dropping loads and picking loads up. But a lot of my trainees were. And it worked out good. I mean financially wise, you know, a lot of them said I was a good trainer. You know, they were happy to have me. But I don't know. I I kinda like being by myself. I ain't gonna lie. I wish I had a bigger truck. Um, but I just like the fast paced of it, you know, I like always keep, I like just keeping the truck moving. I could fall asleep better with the truck moving, to be honest with you. I'd be more tired. Also, you know, I'd be passed out. I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. But... Ain't nothing going on around here. It's so boring, man. Ain't even nobody coming in here. Ain't ain't no ain't nobody coming in. Ain't nobody going out. It's just it's dead. This is what this is what it is. This is what it been all day. Maybe a truck will come in and park. The truck may go out. I'm trying to find stuff on TV to watch. I'm sitting here watching this. Look at this thing stuttering. Yeah. So it's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this video out at 7 o'clock. Daggum, it's 7 o'clock. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this video out in the one little one I recorded earlier. I'm going to go on and try to go to bed, y'all. I'm tired. I'm done with it. All right. God bless y'all. And hopefully next week we'll have some more goodies in store. We'll try to get some stuff secure in. We'll try to get some unsecure in. We'll try to get some deliveries. Um, we'll deliver tomorrow. So I'll go ahead and get that delivery videotaped. Um, we'll see how they like it. I think it's going to be a steel, a steel plant. Let me see. Let me see, guys. Infra Metals, Atlanta.
Yeah, I didn't want to go stop in Atlanta. That was that was a no no. So we're about two and a half hours. I'm gonna get up early in the morning. I'm gonna get up early. Uh oh, we got somebody pulling in. We may have a little situation here. Let's see what we got. Can y'all see that far? What's he gonna do? Oh, he's trying to spin that thing on in there. He's trying to spin that thing on in there, guys. Is he gonna do it? Watch him, watch him. Watch them. Watch them, boys. Watch them. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Stop, stop. You, you hit the truck. You hit the truck. Uh oh. We got another shotgunner coming. Cherry Coke. A cherry Coke. He got it on in there. He won the prize. Who is that? I can't tell from here. What about this guy? He's got his hazards on. You know what the, you know what it means when they have them flashers on? That means they're new drivers. And them are, them are the hazards that say, hey, y'all watch out. I don't know what I'm doing, so just be ready, everybody. Hazards are mean hazardous, right? So, yeah, y'all better watch out. When he puts some lights on, he's fixing to hit somebody. So, y'all got to be ready. clock and I'm, and I'm calling it a day. Love y'all. Peace out. This is Southbound 